Aye. I'm just popping out. I just need to pick up Nana's birthday present from town. It won't be long. Okay, just make sure you're back before two. You said you'd get better at getting back on time. Don't forget. Yeah. Well, don't worry. In a bit. <laughs> Tom was a nightmare. I managed to get another present though. I took you so long. Tom was even, I've told you. The keys just held us up, that's all. You promised me you'd get better with this stuff. I thought you would. I had every intention of doing that, but Adam, some of these things I can't control. The state of town isn't something I had the power to change. And I'm only, what, five minutes late? I understand that. But you still came home late. You can't keep doing this, so... You know what it gets me like when you don't listen or respect me like this? Sorry, okay? I am. Really? It won't happen again. Can we talk about what we spoke about the other day? Because it doesn't seem like it's quite sunken. I heard you, Adam. I acknowledged everything you said, and I told you that I'd work on it. Isn't that enough? No, Soph! As a matter of fact, it isn't enough. You said I should start seeing some changes from you, and I've yet to see any. How can I trust you when you can't even keep your own words? Adam, please, stop your hurting us! I'll stop when you sort of listen to me, because it's quite clear that you haven't been. I heard you, and I understood, and I'll do better, I feel. Please, don't! 